should be able to get the job, bro. <laughs> and when she didn't get it, I was like, oh, okay. All right, everybody. Welcome to Hot Couch Potato, the podcast where we talk about video games and old people. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Blue <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> My man's Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> that was kind of a slow start right there. So I, I like, didn't want to um... call out names, dude. <laughs> I was about to say names. Uh, I was like, um, yeah, you can borrow some of that memory pills too. That uh, probably would help my one a day vitamins Dude, as well. No, not even what I was thinking and what came out of my mouth were two completely different things. Dude. <laughs> I was about to be super petty right now, man. <laughs> oh man, it's fucking melting out here, huh? Oh uh, yeah, like, dude, it was like freezing for I think. For a couple of months, four or five months. No, ever since last year. And then I was thinking, <laughs> oh, yeah, since it's been cold for that long, what comes next after, you know, freezing? It's going to be super hot for the next five years, I think it's going to mm-hmm. happen. Because what? like I my, think? yeah, my analogy is if you open a refrigerator, of course, it's going to be cold for a while when you feel it. But then if you leave it open for forever... You know, it's no longer cold. It's going to be pure hot. So, okay, that's the way I see it as. Wait, wait, wait! What? So right now, technically, we're leaving the refrigerator open for too long. So that's why it's super hot right now. It, no, yeah. So everything is melting, melted inside uh, the world. Okay. And I think I follow you. Now it's gonna just burn because I think I was reading an article that Europe is like reaching their breaking record heat waves oh, again yeah yeah like greenland is in iceland are melting yeah so it's yeah, like 116 yeah, degrees over there and i was like oh god you know we left the refrigerator open too long <laughs> 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 so yeah and then they like they measure or not measured i guess they had like uh photographs of um alaska oh okay yeah yeah and it was like showing like a huge shrinkage and i was like oh my god what are we gonna do man we're gonna i think by the time we're no we're gonna be dead by the time we have to really worry about it that's what i'm worried about (laughs) (laughs) i don't want to be die. i don't want to die burning you know (laughs) i want to have a natural peace peaceful age you know i always I always thought about that too, right? Like, you remember the Titanic mm-hmm. when that shit is sinking, and uh, everybody's saying, "Oh, women and children first, women and children first, right?" So it's like that's not us anymore, dude. Now we're at an age where we're expendable, man. If the ship goes down, if the world goes to shit, and they like, oh, we invented um, these spaceships that will take everybody up into space but it's limited we can't take everybody you and me are the first to go dude <laughs> they're not gonna allow us on those ships bro <laughs> exactly they're gonna be like do you have a doctor's degree do you have a billion dollars <laughs> no oh okay God, then no. get it back to the back of the line <laughs> which there's no line <laughs> for you guys fuck oh, i know man. that's exactly it dude r.i.p well yeah no i feel you i saw like i said i heard the stories about like iceland and they had a picture of this guy. He was on a sled with a bunch of dogs that were pulling him. And they were yeah. running in water and shit. And oh, I, like, oh I saw God. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's that bad out there, dude. Yeah. So it's insane. It's insane. I don't know what it is, man. Global warming. Crazy. Inconvenient truth, dude. Exactly. And I think our generation, too, is like, oh, no, we got to save ourselves. So we're just going to continue to use our cars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you could be right too. It could just be like the natural order of things, you know. It's, the world was cold for so long. Now it's just that cycle in the Earth's time where it has to be hotter. I don't know. Who knows how the world works, dude? We've only been here for so long. Either um, way, we're going to die. What's up? <laughs> Either way, we're all uh, going to die. Two things sure in life is taxes and, and that you're going to die, man. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But we got a long time till then. Until then, man, we still got to play like Final Fantasy VII remake, uh, Xeno Gears remake, whenever that comes out, dude. We'll be here for a while, but yeah. Hell yeah! Um. Oh, happy birthday, man! Rick finally caught up with the rest of us that had birthdays this year, man. And had a birthday this past weekend. How's it feel, dude? 
uh, I'm in my prime as nice. I'm like massaging all of my shoulders, <laughs> my back, and I was like, I think I woke up a couple times with my leg hurting. I was like, dude, I need to start exercising, and you know, I I kind of did. So we have a gym at work, and mm-hmm. my coworkers, like one, I think he's like fifty, and the other one is like my assistant, so mm-hmm. or previous assistant now, but basically he both of them wanted me to work out with them and i was like you know what i'll tag along so the first thing we go into is like they wanted to do some Mm pull-ups and Mm -hmm. i was like i remember back in the day i used to do a couple not a lot just a couple enough Mm -hmm. to if i was ever uh stranded on the side of a cliff (laughs) i can be able to pull myself up with one (laughs) pull-up and then so you know the old guy like he was doing like three and Mm -hmm. i was like oh god okay that's you know he's he's kind of up there in age so uh, (laughs) my assistant or not assistant the other guy he he was doing like maybe five to seven Mm -hmm. and i was like oh okay that's that's normal because he's only 21 (laughs) and then like when i got onto the thing and i tried to pull him up i couldn't even hold myself up anymore (laughs) Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> and I was like doing my very best to even just do one. I could not do one for the life of me. <laughs> oh, no, and I was dude. Like, oh my God, what happened? Like, I should be able to do at least one just in case uh-huh. I was stranded on the side of a cliff. <laughs> but now it doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore. Oh, man, dude. Wait, so have you been hitting the gym since, dude, to try and get that one pull up? Kind of, yes. So, like, every other day or whenever we have a chance, so uh-huh. I'm like, just doing normal walking exercises i was like i gotta lose some weight and maybe build some arm muscles so i was doing there some bicep go. curls and and all that <laughs> i was like man i can't let these guys outdo me and damn I'm in, my prime. <laughs> I'm in my prime <laughs> <laughs> nah dude when you get that pull up in then you'll be in your prime dude making your prime <laughs> man. <laughs> oh man that's crazy dude yeah welcome to being old dude um oh man i kind of have a long story i'll tell it another time about like the time i went back to the gym after not going for a long time dude Um, (laughs) it's kind of funny when it's long so so i'll wait on um what's going on this week man in video games oh the summer games done quick i think we talked a little bit about it that last week um it ended this past saturday they raised three million dollars dude it's a lot of fucking money man i think um Every time they have one of these events, they just raise the bar, dude. I think it's been stuck at like 2.1, 2.5 million for a while in the past year or two. Um, and this one, dude, they just pumped it up and hit three, man. So that's crazy. Shout out to them, man. As for Doctors Without Borders, so it's kind of like an independent thing where doctors can go around and, and treat people not tied to any nation or anything like that. Um, did you watch any of it, man? No, I haven't seen. Either. So I seen um, Dark Souls two, which confirmed. Like I, you know, we were talking last week how we'll watch speed runs to see how we could beat bosses. You know, or that's at least how I figure out how to beat hard bosses is to watch a speed run of it because those guys oh. like break the game. I watched the speed run of Dark Souls two, and um, it was a run where he had to beat all the bosses in the game. I think he beat it in like three hours and it confirmed to me I'm never going to play Dark Souls 2, dude. <laughs> because just the way that the, you know, it's the rolling is a lot more chunky in that game. I'm, I'm not going to go through with it, dude. Because <laughs> that's my bread and butter in those Dark Souls games, man. Have you, you, you've you played it though, right? You finished it? Yeah, yeah. I haven't played three yet, so I, I can't really compare. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought one was more chunky, the rolling, but really? I don't remember at all because mine was more of like dual sword. So I was stun locking everything, basically. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't really give anyone a chance to really kind of swing at me. And if I did, I think I rolled. I don't remember. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But How yeah. um, did you play all the DLC too? Uh, No. Oh, or okay. Maybe I did. I don't remember. See, this age. I'm at this age. <laughs> uh, 
I think it's because it was a stressful game, and yeah, I had to block yeah. some parts of it out of my memory, but at least the, the stressful <laughs> parts, which was all of it. So the only thing I do remember is just starting in the very beginning, and that was literally it. And then after that, it was just been so much chaos, frustration, sure. tears. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I think so many times I've been ambushed a lot by the NPCs, <laughs> just frustrating as heck. So, yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think that's one of the games I remember you playing. That one and for sure the first Dark Souls when you were trying to cut off uh, that dragon's tail. I remember that for sure. You were fighting it for like 15 minutes and then you died and you had to do it all over again. I was like, why would you do this to yourself, Rick? I think that's I remember that for sure. Um, and then this one I remember you were fighting like a, like a, a horse pulling a chariot in a circle. You know, oh, trip him and then. Once you tripped him, you actually have to fight the horse. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've always wanted to since, you know, you introduced me to Bloodborne, which got me into Dark Souls 3 and then the original Dark Souls and then Demon Souls. After beating all those games, I really don't think I'm ever going to jump into. Oh, Demon. I thought you were going to say I will finally give it a try no, again. No, man. After watching Another- this try <laughs> they're watching this guy speed run through the game which he's supposed to make it look easy it did not look easy still dude it was a it looked like a pain in the ass my the part i hated the most in the first dark souls you remember that like tower with all the swinging blades and all the snakes that were shooting lightning at you and stuff and you have yeah. to walk across these thin bridges I hated that whole part. It stressed me out so much, dude, because <laughs> if you get hit, you get knocked off and knocked, knocked down. Knocked yeah, away, dude. and there's monsters down there sometimes. Yeah, dude, and then those those like big-ass stone golems, dude, that shoot lightning at you and can attack you from 10 miles away. Like, that part is the worst part of that game, at least for me, you know. And I feel like the entirety of Dark Souls 2 is that part. Like you're in some kind of tower or you're climbing some kind of thin bridge, dude. And it's a very vertical game um, at points. And I just, I, I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Can't do it yet. No, can't no, do it I yet. can't do it. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd rather play that shit in Dark Souls 1 where you're, it's like complete pitch black dark, dude. <laughs> that, that stresses the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> That one, cause the fucked up part with that one too is like you could hear those giant skeletons breathing and shit, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh my god, where is he, dude? <laughs> and yeah, and you tripping. pull out your lantern and you only yeah. see just its head. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god. And I like close my eyes for a little bit and I back up. <laughs> <laughs> they trick you too, though. They trick you too. You remember there's like a part where there's sunlight and they have like these rocks placed there and they look like the skeletons so you don't want to walk in that area but when you finally get there it's just a rock and you're like what the fuck come on yep. dark souls <laughs> god damn dude yeah i'm never going to play dark souls too um what other one did i see them play that was pretty funny um they had like a zelda race which was pretty cool um they had oh they had this one for it was one of the silent hill games and um the weapon they were using they weren't using any guns or anything like that they were shooting lasers out of their eyes it was crazy to me man like i have no idea i didn't know that was a part of silent hill dude i've never well i think i played silent hill one but i didn't think you'd be able to get superpowers and shoot people with lasers and shit dude um so that was pretty entertaining um saw a little bit of the resident evil 2 remake speed run i'm never gonna be as good in that game I'd like to try to be right, but these guys were doing like crazy strats, dude. They only had two bullets in their inventory the whole time, and they would like automatically shoot Mr. X in the head. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm never going to be, be as good as these guys at this fucking game. Because <laughs> some, some of the, you know, speed run stuff, let's say for like RPGs, right? It just depends on making a certain build or getting a high level as fast as possible, you know? And then there's other games like Resident Evil that actually take some kind of skill. I won't be able to replicate some of that skill, dude. Unfortunately, Ben. So, RIP the dream of being a (laughs) speedrunner. But it was good. Shout out to them for making uh, $3 million. Um, What else is going on, dude? Steam summer sales are on right now, man. 
just a lot more games that I'll buy and, and, and never play, dude. Um, Rick's most emotional game, To the Moon, is on there for $3, so I think that might be the only thing I buy, man. Exactly. I don't think I ever launched it. I just watched somebody else play it, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never told me that, dude. I'm, I'm just going to watch a YouTube video, man. I'm just going to watch a YouTube video. You can watch uh, Mark Flyer play it. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh man but i don't want to hear him talk about it dude i kind of want to just watch someone play without the commentary oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah, no point. yeah there probably won't be anybody that does that out there no, i'm pretty sure there is that game was actually kind of popular so mm -hmm. you might see a okay. you know like japanese people play i'll have to look for it never commentate on anything <laughs> never commentate <laughs> on anything um yeah crazy thing i saw witcher for like 15 dollars witcher 3 for like 15 bucks dude so that's crazy, man. But the last time I bought, what I bought? I bought Sniper Elite 3 and 4 on sale. Mm. I haven't even played those yet. I played 3 for a little bit, but I haven't even gotten past the first level in those shits, dude. So I'm not buying any video games for a while. <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Or wait, what comes out? Something comes out this year that we got to buy. Mm. What was it? In November. Pokemon. Ah, yeah, Pokemon. So, yeah, there's already a game, but it's not until, like, near the end of the year. Um, oh, a game I almost did buy, though, was Samurai Showdown. That game came out in the past week, dude. Um, that game looks too cool, man. And it's not, like, combo-based, like, Mortal Kombat or anything. So I think if it ever gets to be, like, $3, and I have $3, I might buy that game, dude. <laughs> 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 like enslaved yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly if it's 269 i'm spending that money dude because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really a game i used to play when i had um i had a 3do you know back in the day it's like one of those first uh cd-rom game systems man and that game i don't think there was street fighter on there so that's the only fighting game i had on that thing and no nah, it looks like it holds up man like everybody has swords and you can if you parry at the right time you can make them drop their sword and like their strategy behind guarding them or camping their sword so they don't get it back so they can't hit you with anything too hard man mm. um yeah if it ever gets to a point dude i might have to buy it if i won the lotto i'm definitely buying it dude <laughs> uh, i just remember see the boss in that game being super hard um did you ever get akuma in street fighter like did you ever unlock him back in the day it was my cousins that were on unlocking him so, for me dude that fight is like the computer the cartridge knows what buttons you're pressing right like as soon as you press up to jump he's doing a sure you can like to attack you you know what i mean mm. it's like he's predicting your every move dude he's like you're frieza and you're fighting goku where goku's just like all over the fucking place kicking your ass dude that's what the final boss in Samurai Showdown used to be like, too, man. It was insane. He just had attacks where he would walk into place, spit into a tornado, and it would hit you. Every one of his attacks took off a third of your health, dude. It was insane, dude. Um, I wonder if that's the boss in the new one. Let me see real quick. Samurai Showdown boss. Oh, no. I don't think he's in this game, dude. Samurai Showdown. Maybe he is. I don't know. I'm not finding a correct answer. There's like four different bosses they have on this shit, dude. Did you ever play uh, Bushido Blade? That's the one where they die in one hit, right? Well, yeah, they can. You can die in one hit. It depends if you get like a a critical strike, because I think you could like hit him in the arm too, and they only use one arm. Or if you hit him in the leg to like limp around and shit. Yeah. Dude, and I you love throw that your game. sword and yeah, you're done you if sword. they miss. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, uh, can I pick up my sword? And like, fuck no. <laughs> dude, that game was amazing. They need to come up with a game like that, dude. Because that game was like, it wasn't 2D where you had to like, you know, run at each other. It was 3D and you just had movement all around the place. But how sick would that be, where you can kill your enemy in, in one hit, dude? <laughs> That'd be tight. But I do remember the throwing sword thing. That was cheap. I think like, uh, 
you can die by it or yeah. he can block it and then you you can die by it. So, one of the craziest moments, right, was I was trying to beat the game with a certain character. And that's what I was doing. I was just throwing my sword and killing everybody, right? I had this great combo where I would, like, block one of their attacks, dash away, and then throw. Because then they would try to chase me. The computer would try to chase me in a straight line and mm-hmm. would just kill them, you know? And I think one of the, the second to last boss, I did my combo block, go back so he would chase me, and I would throw my sword. Never seen this in the game before this day. I played this game for like months. The character does a backflip and dodges my sword. Oh, so yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there like an asshole with no sword, and he just kills me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I can't cheese my way through this game anymore. <laughs> uh, man, but that game was great. I think one of my favorite parts, too, I think uh, there was a level with just a bunch of bamboos on the field. And if you attacked, you could like slice down the bamboo trees and stuff. Oh, man. Dang. Good times. Yep. Dude. Good, Good times, times. man. Um, what else, man? What you've been playing any uh video games this week, man? Uh, mainly Monster Hunter. Been mm. Playing with uh, yeah, just our group of friends, and essentially we're doing Arc Temper. I guess Vol was the first one, mm-hmm. and I was trying out this build that Eric showed me, and it was like a Gunlance build where you kind of shoot infinitely so you don't have to really worry about your sharpness and whatnot and oh. and the thing is for the difference between my build and his he had the he has the augment gem of healing mm-hmm. so even though he was involved thing he had a flu effluvium where i don't even know how you can say that but when he had it on he didn't even care he was just shooting away and his life was gen- regenerating so mm-hmm. fast and I was like, damn, I want to make that build. So I tried making it. I made most of it, but the only thing is I don't have that gym because I put it on something else. And we're playing recently was Arc Temper Teostra 2. Mm-hmm. And we got him down to a science kind of thing. So he is still an asshole. Teostra it's, is so- his nuke, dude. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't his nuke just suck, dude? It's more of that. So basically his, you know, like where he has that aura of fire and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Now you have like that, that blight of, of burn or whatnot. And then it explodes later down the line. Mm-hmm. And then when it explodes, you're kind of vulnerable if you have a shield. So it's like, ah, oh, this is so painful. So that was painful enough. And then I learned that my new favorite hated monster <laughs> <laughs> that I hate to the core is... Lunastra. Oh, and that's the number one, man. Man. Yeah, like I just played him on normal. And I remember beating him the first couple of times when it really first came out. And mm-hmm. then I stopped playing the game. I came back and I was versing him in a different area. And I think I spent over an hour just trying to kill him. And I was like, he's not even arc tempered or anything. <laughs> how, how am I having troubles? It's because that fire aura is like everywhere, Dude. literally everywhere. The one I hate is his fucking tail whip, man. His tail whip every time gets me because I play longsword, so I'm always trying to chop off his tail yeah but his tail whip attack just has an unlimited hitbox dude <laughs> it's insane man exactly and then oh my god so i was building i was experimenting and i was building a lot of gunlance builds and i was trying to fine tune it and i think i spent three to four hours just fine tuning one gunlance build mm-hmm. and i was like mm-hmm. oh you know like this is the best i think i can make for what i have and then I looked at my my jewels, my gems, I guess decorations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And apparently I had artillery. I had two artillery gems, which is, you know, you really need that for your, your build. Mm-hmm. But I was using a charm. And then I was like, wait a minute. I thought I only had one artillery gem. So me learning the fact that I had two completely fucked up my entire build so i had to recraft <laughs> everything. everything because <laughs> that one gem changes how i can slot other things uh-huh. I can, 
oh my god I, th I don't even remember i think i like put down the controller and i was like holding my face with my hands <laughs> And I was just like crying a little bit for like a good ten seconds, and then I like went back, and then I think it was Saturday. So yeah, I guess it's Saturday going into Sunday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I didn't go to bed till like three to four a.m. in the morning, dude. <laughs> just because you're trying to remake your build, dude. Exactly, and I didn't even finish it because I was so upset that I learned that. And uh -huh. then I was like thinking of many other possibilities how I can make other things. And I was like, fuck, I need the Vol, Arc Temper Vol, Vol one of his pieces. Mm -hmm. And then I realized he's no longer there. So then I like, I held my face again, like for <laughs> like 30 minutes. And then I just like, I'm going to cry for 30 minutes. Oh my so, God, dude. Yeah, I spent a good amount. And I was like, man, there's always like one piece that can mess up your entire build because that mm -hmm. skill mm -hmm. is very, it can be crucial later down the line. You might need it. And I was like reading what skills you really need. And it depends on, oh my God. So there's so many ways to play gun wands. I mm -hmm. thought originally it was poke shoot kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I play, it, I play it pretty good. Like I do a, a good amount of DPS. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to try out the other one where you just shoot with the gun lands. Mm -hmm. So I was like shooting a bunch of times. And I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool build. But I don't know. And then I learned that the long range goes crazy far with the gun lance. What is like, that, a gem too? No, no, no. I'm in the shell, the shelling. Of oh, the, okay. So there's okay. like wide, which is like kind of like close range melee. Mm -hmm. There's normal gun shells, which is like, I guess normal. Mm -hmm. And then there's long range, which goes really, really far. And then so me and Eric were fighting against Arc Tempered, uh, or not Arc Tempered, uh, Tempered Kushala. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he was like flying around and he was super far. And I, I was like shooting him while he was in the sky, technically. So then I had him, I had Eric measure the distance of how far my bullet was traveling. And it goes pretty far. So I was like, damn, this is another build to consider because... The gun shells on the gun lance, they kind of don't, they have like non discriminative damage kind of thing. So mm -hmm. they ignore the monster's defenses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they they always like hit for like the same amount of damage technically. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. So no matter if my sharpness is yellow, blue, or whatever, you know, it's always going to hit 50 at a time kind of thing. Wait, and you you don't have to make ammo for the gun lance, do you? Nope, it's infinite. What the fuck? Yeah, so... That's kind of OP, dude. Holy shit. That's what I was like. I looked, I saw that guy. I was like, man, he was just infinitely shooting his gun mm -hmm. lance, mm -hmm. and he took down uh, Vol so easily. He didn't even... He ignored his own health, and he was just shooting away. And I was like, "God damn it, dude!" Because you could just sit in the back somewhere and just keep shooting and exactly damage. What the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Yeah, and then the other guy, uh, I slept with the long range. Mm -hmm. He was just chilling in the background, just shooting all the monsters out of the sky, and they were like falling. And I was like, "What the fuck, like?" Have I been playing this wrong? So <laughs> apparently my build is it's like kind of like meant to just do damage and get the damage done. But the other two are like, oh, God, it's like I they can fall asleep technically and uh, still. And they just made it like super easy to survive and stuff. Exactly. Like super easy. That's why I need that gem now so I can place it into the thing and just infinitely shoot without ever having to worry about my health because I have mm. the ball, Hazak super recovery, everything, the recovery gems, the health, vitality, everything. Mm -hmm. I'm just missing that one augment on my my gun lance and if I get that then I don't think I'll ever have to worry about my health ever again. What what gets you augments again? Isn't the just just the normal tempered like it's the heroes storm hero stones from tempered I think the elder, elder dragons. dragons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Man, I remember when we used to farm. Is there any way to check how many you have? Uh cuz I don't ever Yeah, the investigations seeing... and stuff. Well, I mean like um check how many augments that you still have. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Like, that in your inventory. Yeah, I just 
see if I can augment it or not. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I can augment every single freaking weapon. <laughs> I can't augment my own gun lance. It's stupid. Yeah. It's like, Damn, man. Dude, RIP, man. Yeah, I remember that was that grind was crazy trying to get the uh the augments for my longsword, dude, because I chose a longsword that could have three augments on it. Yeah. So having to get all three of those was a pain in the ass, dude. Yeah. And I think on like rank eight weapons, don't you have to put like two augments into one slot or something like that? Like, doesn't it cost more? I think you only get one augment for level eight, and uh-huh. I think two for level seven, and then three for level. Yeah. But it, it matters, Six. right? Like, it matters what kind of augment it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's you like have to hero like certain, lance yeah, or hero sword or and something. And there's, like, a higher level or lower level one than that, too. Damn, what a grind. You have to be, like, super specific, dude. Exactly. And I was so mad because I just wasted one of them on a different gun lance. And that was the, <laughs> the long-range gun lance. And uh-huh, I was like, uh-huh. yeah, I'm going to just keep using this gun lance. And then when I saw that other one, I was like, fuck now i'm gonna have to like play another 200 hours in the game yeah and yep. shit yeah i think i'm gonna come back strong when um the summer event happens dude and all the events are up dude yeah so you just fight everything all at once and get your build up um before the next expansion comes out oh that's what comes out in september iceborne dude that's what we're gonna be playing man oh yeah that was fun actually i don't know if i talked about it in the last podcast but mm. yeah that was pretty cool um it was so tricky though moving around in that snow <laughs> the icy part where you fought uh tigrix that was the worst for me oh man. god yeah like even though i was using gun lance and uh. blocking everything i was like god i have to wait till this idiot thing stops moving uh-huh, in order uh-huh. for me to attack and then it'll start running back and forth again i'm like Okay, so I have to figure out how to trap them or flash them or mm-hmm, something. Mm-hmm. So much of a pain. The worst part about that was is just the time limit, dude. You only had like 20 minutes to beat them, dude. Yeah. Man, I was stressing out so much. Like when I actually beat him, I think I uh, I put down the shock trap, fucked him up real quick. After I put down the shock trap, uh, I stunned him, fucked him up real quick, man. And I think it said like, it, like the two um clock hands were on the 20 minute mark i was like fuck he was running away to his last area where he was gonna sleep he goes to sleep i put down all the bombs dude and just (laughs) fucking do my biggest combo and he finally fucking dies man yeah 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 dude that fight is fun um i've actually seen wasn't there another beta that was out recently did you guys play that one where um i think there was the bat the bat in the jungle like you could fight him I haven't played him yet, but mm. do you get anything? Because I heard there's like a secret something. There's a secret thing to that. Maybe. To summon something. I didn't even. Because the beta that we played, what was that, last weekend or a weekend and a half ago? That was for uh, PS Plus uh, users. Um, the one that came out with the bat, I think, is uh part of the regular beta mm-hmm. so and i didn't play that shit at all man when is this available until Ooh, it's available until tomorrow so r.i.p i think we missed it man um but yeah i don't know about any secrets you get is anything mm-hmm. cool no they said like something spawns if you do something a certain way and it was rare mm-hmm and I didn't read too much into it, but I was like, yeah, I'm just going to try to build my Gunlands build. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they should do that more in, in Monster Hunter, you know? Um, kind of like how in the the Leshen fight, like there were those side missions where you can get the Puke Puke to help you out and all that. Uh-huh. I mean, the Puke Puke ended up being like the worst escort mission ever, dude, because he was so, like he died in like two hits, but... They should do more things where, like, you don't just fight the monster. You have to do certain things, too, during the fight, you know? Like, you have to break all the rocks in the level, and then the rock god gets mad at you. So when you kill the monster, this giant rock golem pops up, and you have to fight him, too, you know? Yeah. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be pretty sick if they added, like, um, destiny hidden missions, dude, in uh, in Monster Hunter. That'd be pretty sick, man. Yeah, it's looking at it, 
Uh -huh. And it says new Nargakuga. Yeah, that's the that's the bat thing, right? Yeah, and there's it says secret rare spawn. Oh no, dude! The, and if you kill that secret rare spawn, you get it in when the game comes out. Shoot, sure, I don't know. <laughs> RIP, man. Uh, darn it! Yep, it's too late. Uh, well, I guess we can keep playing. Yeah, yeah. Um. I think that's cool too, man. More people need to do that. Or if you play the beta, you get stuff in the real game, like uh, like Neo when they had that shit in Neo, dude. Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, they did that for the the first beta we played. If you beat each of those monsters, you get a a certain thing. Um, I wonder if that monster is hard, dude. You remember when we fought um, Nergigante on the first beta? Yeah, that was dude, really tough. <laughs> I think that's what got me like stuck on Monster Hunter World. You know, like the yeah. fact that we were all playing together and then it had like, you know, not really Dark Souls type gameplay, but like the mechanics were kind of the same. You know what I mean? They were a little bit similar and I could play with my style with my longsword, dude. Um, that I think that's what got me hooked and how hard it was, man. It took us like two hours to beat that shit, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Forever. But <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm like looking at this. I was like, man. This uh, katana longsword stuff looks pretty sick. Yeah, the new ones. The new ones look great, dude. I can't wait, man. I can't wait till the expansion comes out and then there's more more stuff to do. I think, yeah, Kulv is the last thing they're doing, right? Or the last thing they did for Monster Hunter World? Yeah. Or, or I thought it was Lunastra. After oh, that. maybe Lunastra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was There was a... No, they put Devil Joe. Devil Joe was an addition as well. And then Lunastra. Huh, yeah. They put out some good stuff for free, man. Shout outs. Monster in a world, dude. Um let me see. Oh, I guess never mind. I guess you don't look for the Narka Nargakuga. I guess you have to look for him when you fight like the regular Jagras. Interesting, dude. Cause yeah, Jagras you fight in that first island in the beta. Ah, I see. So I guess if you're in when you go to that area instead of fighting like Jagras. I remember when uh, I first jumped into the beta last week, and like, you guys want me to fight a Jagras for real? I just fucking murdered the shit out of that thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not gonna take any damage in this fight. And like, got hit once. I was like, okay, never mind, dude. Fuck this thing. <laughs> I fucking just went ham on him, dude. But oh, that's interesting, man. Um, oh, that's kind of the same thing, I think. Um, holy shit, dude. I forgot the names. What are the names of the regular dragons? In uh, in Monster Hunter World, there's a green, uh, a blue, and a red one. Rathalos. Yeah, there you go. Rathalos was a rare spawn in in the first beta too. I think I, we never got to fight him. I think we just watched him fuck up a a T Rex and Anjanath a couple times, but we never really fought him. When you started the beta for Iceborne, the first one, did mm -hmm. you choose graphics? I chose uh frame rate actually dude i chose graphics mm -hmm. and it looks kind of different like more better. dude I, I i think it's because it's it's an update dude i think it's because it's iceborne they updated the graphics because even in the frame rate like things looked a lot cleaner dude like exactly I, I noticed that it was running at 60 and there were some like environments or textures that weren't really that great but it was still like running at 60 fps and i was like holy shit dude my yeah. eyes <laughs> <laughs> is that because we have ps4 pros can it maybe that, huh. maybe but yeah for sure it's probably graphical updates for for the new expansion have you pre-ordered it yet no not yet is it 60 bucks or how much is it I think it might be 40 or something like that, but okay. I have to check because I want the limited edition one. Oh, that one you sent me with the with the like samurai armor? Does it come with more samurai armor? Was that what it was? I think so. Oh, yeah, 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 with the hat. And yeah, dude, the Jubei hat. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah dude. Now, I have that. to make sure that our stuff, I guess I'm pretty sure it will transfer over, but mm -hmm. will it be relevant, though? I hope the uh, builds I'm building, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, we're everything level nine has is only effective mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh man yeah i hope you're right too dude because then i'd be like 
Final Fantasy fourteen, where the moment the new expansion comes out, all your shit you've been grinding for is, is fucking useless. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, I hope you're right. Oh, dang, least... there's a Master Edition Collectors for Iceborne. And what like, comes with it? It shows like a palico holding up a statue, and then a statue of an ice dragon. What is this? Oh, it holds up your controller or your cell phone. What? Hmm. The statue of the palico? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you're talking about. That shit. How much? What's the price you're looking at? Three hundred dollars. Oh, that's exactly the same what I'm looking at, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I like I like this game, but not. Too yeah, much dude. yet? I don't like it as much as uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. insane, bro. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. For an expansion. Are you kind of bummed out that the expansion is only one area? Yes. Well, if they continue to pump out content after that, then mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the way... Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the website right now. And it looks like we're just going to be living in in this ice area yeah yeah we're gonna have like two bases well technically we have two bases we can go to now right we could either go to that ship or we can go to the main island so this is just gonna be a new island where we can make camp and stuff like that they should just make it where we can all be in the same gathering hub but oh like, yeah you mean like the regular common area yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's true but then we wouldn't be able to pet our pigs dude There'd be too many pigs running around. That'd be perfect. <laughs> It'd be like Destiny, where you have 16 players on, <laughs> dancing and everything. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm so, I'm kind of bummed that it's only one area, um, and maybe only one monster in an old area. Um, I don't know. It's a new Elder Dragon, though, so we'll see. Um. Oh, this yeah, is not you, like 60 bucks for regular price, dude. Yeah, it says you will be able to transfer your existing save file mm -hmm. from Monster Hunter World into Iceborne. Mm. Okay. Mm, okay, you sold me. Bad. I'm going to pre-order. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to get the digital version because I got the digital version of the uh, thing. Heck yeah. No more CDs for me. I feel so bad because, you know, we got, oh, I got the physical copy of Sekiro. Whenever I play that shit, my PlayStation 4 is just like... <laughs> it's like I'm about to time travel and shit, dude. <laughs> like it's getting ready to break the fourth wall, dude. <laughs> that shit is crazy, man. Man, we had to get it, though, because of the oh, yeah. letter opener. <laughs> that's, very true. that's very true. I think that's the only game I have uh, recently. That, that Yeah, because when I bought Resident Evil 2, dude, digital, so... I'm I'm slowly becoming a trader, man. <laughs> trader to the physicals. Well, physical uh, copies of games that are worth it. I think we talked about this last week. Only the ones that we actually support and like is, is what we're going to buy. Um, physical copies of like Final Fantasy VII and things like that. Um, yeah, not too much Monster Hunter for me. I think we played a little bit last week. Fought cool of a bunch. That was pretty fun, dude. Um saw Dustin die a bunch of times man that was good times mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh dude so I've been playing God of War right uh -huh. and I was dying a lot a lot and I was getting stressed out and I was like why am I stressing out in God of War I'm supposed to be the God of War dude what am I doing you know uh -huh. I mean when I was killing stuff I was I was excited but I was getting beat way too much dude um and that's the only stress in my life right now is video games, dude. Which it's shouldn't video be video game. It's the reverse. <laughs> I know. I know. So uh, I was like fighting this one boss. And, you know, there's levels in God of War. And it's not that crazy. It's just like one through ten. So I think Kratos that I have right now is like level five. And the monster I was trying to fight was level seven or eight. And it was just killing me in two shots and i had to have like the most perfect fight to fight him i had to wait for my cooldowns to pop i just had to fight the perfect fight um it just wasn't happening you know so i was looking at my difficulty that i was playing at and i was playing at the hardest difficulty and i was like uh yeah i don't want to stress myself out anymore i'm gonna just swallow my pride and put the game on normal dude 
So I put the game on normal and beat that fight. And I was like, yes, dude, we're moving on. And it was like a side boss. It wasn't even part of the story. So I go on to the next kind of similar fight. Basically, there's like these eight Valkyries or angels that you have to free by killing them. Um, so I was fighting this other Valkyrie. And this one just kept spawning a bunch of ads, dude. And I couldn't kill them all without getting my ass kicked. So I was like, huh. I wonder what happens if I put the difficulty down to easy. I wonder what that's like. I put it down to easy. I beat that fight in like two minutes. Every <laughs> It was like reverse. Like when they hit me, I take no damage. And when I hit them, it takes off a fourth of their life. I was like, oh my god, dude. I am the god of war. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even throwing your weapon dude, and they were dying? <laughs> no, I know, man. I know. I mean, usually it's like. You know, you have to block, you have to roll dodge and everything. I was like, nope, I'm tanking everything and just attacking. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, since that day, I've been playing uh, God of War on easy, dude. <laughs> no fucking shame, dude. I'm playing God of War. I'm not playing fucking Sekiro, man. I shouldn't be dying or this game shouldn't be like this hard, man. <laughs> it's kind of funny, dude. Um, but, yeah, I think I talked about last week the whole where the story finally, like, clicked for me to really start going all out on god of war uh was when he spoiler alert was when he got his old weapons back dude that part was pretty fucking sick man um but yeah i haven't finished it yet dude but i want to finish it soon um because here's my plan dude i want to start playing um final fantasy 7 this week man playing it over again and i'm gonna try and beat it in a week dude you think that's possible rewind you holy crap you, you you don't want to play it when it comes out well no i want to refresh my memory mm. of how the old game was dude oh but then you might compare it though you know like oh what they omitted this oh what they took this part out you know yeah, but that's fine i'll trade in skipping something for the better graphics dude like, I don't know. I'm going to appreciate the remake as its own thing, I think. I won't compare it like that too crazy. Um, but, yeah, it's been, like, five years since I've played it, dude. And I think I have to, man. I think it's time for me to play it. But I'm um, going on vacation, not this week, but the week after. And I want to beat it before I go on vacation, dude. So do you think I'll be able to beat Final Fantasy Seven in a week? We have nope. the 4th of July, dude. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> We can bet a burger. Huh. And, and, and. But the thing is, you're not allowed to look up guides. I'm not allowed to look. I don't need to look up a guide. It's all in my head. Or speed runs. Or speed uh, runs? Yeah, like, oh, I need to skip through this. X, Y, and uh, Z. See, you know why? Because I wanted to get all the enemy materia or enemy skill materia powers. <laughs> I don't think I could do that, <laughs> because <laughs> there's one that i always i never get and i want to get um it's called uh big guard i think it's called and it's from a certain enemy on like it, the enemy only spawns on one part of the world on like the beach or something right mm -hmm. and of course you learn enemy skill when um a monster attacks you with it right yep the monster is never going to use big guard on you so what you have to do is, like, be quick and cast Reflect on the monster so that when it casts Big Guard on itself, it reflects and casts it on you, and that's how you learn it. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> in Final Fantasy VII, that was a thing to me. Like, you have that whole, like, the bottom part of the screen, right, that shows your health, your MP, character name, and it has your time bar on it, too. Mm -hmm. Throughout my entire time playing Final Fantasy VII the first time, I never use the barrier. So those barrier, like, um, what are they called? Those barrier gauges were useless to me because I never cast that on myself, you know? I never equipped that materia. But I figure if I get this big guard, because big guard, I think, is uh, magic barrier, barrier, and reflect all in one. Mm. Fuck it, dude. I cast that on myself. I could actually use those gauges, man. So, mm. unfortunately, I can't play this without a guy, dude. So bet off <laughs> but i'm gonna try man watch i'm gonna try and beat this game in a week and see how it goes man all while you know having a life and having to go to work and stuff 
Shit, I might not beat it in a week, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you need at least six hours per day. <laughs> yeah, and I won't be able to dedicate that much time to it unless I just one of the weekend days just no life it and fucking just play all day, which I'm I, I'm not opposed to doing, dude. And that's the thing too. Should I play? Because I bought it on PS4, right? Like mm-hmm. I have the PS4 version. Should I play it on there or should I play Put it on, on my Switch. PS3? Because I have the original discs still. Or should I play it on my original discs, dude? Mm, PS4. PS4? Yeah. See, I could cheat even more playing the PS4 version. Because I think there's an unlimited, like, MPHP. All I have to do is, like, click the R3 button and I have unlimited everything, dude. What? They activated cheats in there? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think if you press R3, you get unlimited health and magic. If you press L3, you don't have random encounters. I think if you press all the shoulder buttons, you automatically get your your limit break. I don't want to... I've already put God of War down to the easiest, dude. <laughs> I don't want to be tempted to turn any of that shit on, man. <laughs> I might have to bust out my PS3 and play the original game and just look at those ugly polygons, man. I might have to do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that game was really ahead of its time, dude, I think. That's why it's so great, man. Plus, by the time we were playing it, we really didn't know about, like, anime storylines like that, dude. Exactly. So it, like, introduced us to a whole new world. Um, oh, speaking of anime, dude, um, I don't know what to do with my life anymore because all the anime that Rick introduced me to is over. So there's nothing to watch anymore, man. Oh, wait, what was the one you were telling me last week to watch? Submarine one, the crap. Mm, something with the spaceship. Oh, battleship. Oh, Yamato. okay, okay, okay. I haven't watched that yet, but Shield Heroes done, dude. Like that, the I... season's totally over for that. Oh, did you want to catch up? I haven't caught up yet. Yeah, but, but didn't you read I... the manga for it? Yeah, I'm oh, okay. Pro- I'm probably way far the manga. <laughs> uh, they ended back at um, Raftalia's. Uh, hometown he's like the lord of that place now dude oh so they can start making their base and shit over there oh okay okay i got you. how far ahead are they are they super far ahead he, i think so like my cousin's way past the manga he's like in the novels now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't even draw pictures yet for <laughs> <laughs> yeah like story. That's why, and then he was explaining a little bit to me because back then I was like, "Oh man, I don't know if I should keep going." But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, yeah, what he was explaining was pretty interesting. What mm-hmm. happens later? So that's over. Um, Attack on shit. Titan ended too, man. Well, at least the anime. Um, the season ended, but they announced that the next. Well, guess when the next season's coming out, dude? This week. No. In fall 2020, man. So you gotta wait Next over a year for that year? shit. Yeah, man. What the fuck? You gotta wait forever for that. But you know what's funny? Because I was thinking about it, right? I think you introduced me to Attack on Titan, like back in the day, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was really watching this show like week by week to keep up with it. And it wasn't until like I forgot what ep- one episode. It was when they're in the forest, the female Titans chasing them, and. Um, Levi's like, everybody cover your ears, you know, and everybody covers their ears and he shoots the flare gun in the air. Mm-hmm. And then it just says to be continued. I remember specifically <laughs> from that day, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to read the manga, dude. I can't wait another week to find out what happened. <laughs> right. So let me look this up right now, man. Because I remember there was like a three year gap between season one and two of Attack on Titan, right? Yeah. Uh. I just want to see something here real quick. Uh, I want to see when that episode aired or when it was available. Just so I'd know how long it's been since I've been waiting for this fucking show. It's it's long, dude. I feel like it's over five years. So Attack on Titan, man. The episode that I'm talking about came out exactly nine years ago, dude. Nine years ago? June 30th, 2013. Is, what? Oh, maybe July. Maybe it was in July. I'm playing. Yeah, it might have been in July 2013 when that episode came out, dude. 
Oh my god. Crazy, right, man? What the fuck? I've been watching that story for fucking ever, dude. At that point, what were you doing in 2013, man? What were we doing? I did we go to did I go to Japan? I don't remember. Dude, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, that's what's crazy, right? Like so season one came out 2013. Season two came out in 2017. We waited forever for season two to fucking come out, man. I think that's why I was just reading the mangas forever. Um, But it's crazy, right? Because when they showed the little teaser for next season of Attack on Titan, they said it's going to be the final season, right? Which means that the manga is going to be done around the same time. So holy shit, dude. In a little bit over a year, that whole story is just going to be over. I'm excited, man. Damn, yeah, yeah. I think it's because maybe it wasn't as popular from the first season, but that's that's not the case. Oh no way, dude. It was super popular, yeah. I remember. I think it's even more popular now than it ever was, I think. I see a lot um, of cosplays still. Yeah. Of that. I think that there's just there's only so much of that story you could tell before you have to end it, you know. It's not like Naruto where you just keep training, you know to get stronger and then there's stronger enemies like an attack on titan main characters die and shit right they can get stronger by spinning faster <laughs> when an attack on titan <laughs> they get on levi's level <laughs> fucking levi the god dude but oh man there's so much that happens in like the manga that's out right now dude that i can't wait until it's animated like the whole part in this season when spoiler alert when um levi fights the what do you call it fights the beast titan i remember reading that maybe two three years ago man and like not being able to wait until they animated that shit now it's like a dream dude so yeah we used to say we had to live until final fantasy 7 remake came out now i gotta live a little bit longer the fall of 2020 um for when attack on titan comes out dude (laughs) (laughs) on tv again man i just gotta put myself in a bubble (laughs) <laughs> well, technically, you were going to be playing Final Fantasy VII during that whole time. Frame. That's very true. That's very true. Damn, dude. How fast do you think people will beat Final Fantasy VII Remake? One day, man. <laughs> <laughs> no way. They can't, dude. No, yes. No they're going to be like, they're gonna be like nonstop, 24 hours, nonstop grind, speed run somehow. <sighs> And that's what's crazy. I think like YouTube and fucking Twitch kind of ruin video games like that, yeah. like big video games, because then it's like, you know, you yourself will, you know, go to work, get the game at the end of your day and play it. And then you get to play for like at most three or four hours. Right. Yep. And then you put it away and then, you know, you go to work. Maybe you have a little bit of a break time at work the next day. So you go on the Internet. Everybody else on the Internet has already finished the game. So you can't do anything on the internet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's fucking how it is, man. Like, unless you watch, like, the Marvel movies the first weekend they come out, a little bit of it's going to get spoiled to you somehow, dude, if you use the internet. But it's crazy, man. You think so in one day? If people beat that game in a day, Square didn't do their jobs, man. Yeah, they should have like a limit where I I don't know they ha- they have to train until they reach they level have. thirty in order to progress to the yes, second dude. stage. Yes, like a like a like a DPS check in raids, dude. Exactly. Like to, you know they have to they have to level up to a certain point or else they won't be able to beat a boss. Um, yeah, they need to put something like that in there, or they need to put something like. Uh, you remember in Final Fantasy VII where after you leave Midgar, right, and Cloud kind of tells his backstory in that inn? Uh-huh. That part takes like an hour and you don't do anything except for read, you know? They need to come out with something like that where for like an hour all you're doing is reading. And, and then remove the like, continues <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you have to press X, dude, to get through it. <laughs> you can't just put the controller down. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't spam it either. <laughs> It's a speedrunner's nightmare, dude. <laughs> I mean, again, we'll never be speedrun because of fucking that 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 first part in the beginning. We have to watch that whole cutscene. Oh uh, man, but I'm excited, dude. I am same excited. here. Um, but yeah, dude. I think that's it. you got anything else, man. Nothing really crazy this week. 
That is it. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm a fuck. I might be a weeb now, dude. Now that I'm thinking about it, man. Bro, oh, man. we were weebs since 1988. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just going to say, uh, last week, remember I downloaded Yandere Simulator? Oh, yeah. Dude, I was playing that for like a whole day after I downloaded it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do anything in the game, right? Like, yeah. I think uh, they have a cutscene, which has voice acting, by the way. So that's insane that this game has voice acting already. Um, you watch the opening cutscene, and then when you get into the game, there's a disclaimer that says this is just a sandbox. Uh, there's no missions yet, but there are characters in this game. So you can interact with everything, but the story won't progress, right? Mm-hmm. It's crazy because when you start out, you're just like this Japanese high school girl, and you're in your room. You could go uh, like into your basement where you can see just a bunch of flagrant shit. There's like a fucking chair with straps and shit on it, dude. Or then you could go to school and then start to stalk your fucking senpai, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just going around like killing people and trying to get away with it, dude. And it's actually pretty crazy, man. I think now that I've played it, it's kind of like Hitman, but with uh, Japanese high school girls, dude. (laughs) <laughs> you know in hitman you gotta like set everything up so there's no witnesses and and you know you have to like delete security tapes and all this kind of shit make sure nobody's around you know when you kill somebody it's kind of the same thing in this game you know depending on how you you kill someone you gotta like mop up the blood sometimes you step in the blood so when you walk away you're trailing the blood everywhere so you gotta mop up your footsteps dude and be careful um and then you gotta like carry the body to the furnace and shit man it's kind of crazy all doing all this without people seeing you at all so so it's kind of insane man Hmm. unfortunately i think he took away i haven't looked for it really but he took away the the attack on titan mode (laughs) where everybody (laughs) just becomes giants and you can fly around everywhere man (laughs) have you ever seen the attack on titan games i'm wondering if they're any good like if i should go and pick them up and play them I don't remember them, but I did see like a brief gameplay of it. They're like mm-hmm. speeding to the through the town, mm. but I I never really played it. Cause I feel like it would be man. Can you imagine if there was an Attack on Titan game that was like Spider Man graphics, dude? Mm-hmm. That would be insane. I would play the shit out of that game where you just like fly through the town like Spider Man does, except you're fucking Attack on Titan people, dude. Dude. Speaking of Spider-Man, uh, Danny said that there's a Spider-Man VR for free. What? Yeah. On PlayStation? On PlayStation. No way. Let me confirm. I know there's going to be an Iron Man game coming out. Hmm. Wait, there is a Spider-Man game called Far From Home? What? So it's Ooh. after the... After the video, after the movie, and it's free. Huh. Huh. Gonna have to play this. Oh, you do have VR. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, you need to download that and play it, man. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, the game is amazing. I was Spider Man. <laughs> 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 Yeah, man, I gotta buy you like the Batman game so you could tell me how it is in VR, man. Hell yeah! Because I feel like what are you doing? I'm just suiting up. (laughs) That was a game, yeah. That was a game, like one of the first games on VR that we like never really heard about, man. Um, and I want to see like get someone's experience from it, dude. That's crazy though, for free. That's interesting. Speaking of stuff for free, dude, did you get Xbox? games pass yet holy crap i forgot about that when does that renew <laughs> wait you you act you signed up for it still right i think i'm still signed up for it what, i never just, even downloaded it because never downloaded it. i updated my computer and then i totally forgot after that let me see i think it ends on the 7th let me double check mine right now dude because i know i think we signed up on the same day around like e3 um but you just have to go into your account, dude, and um, make it so that it doesn't auto-renew. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
So the 8th, I'll send you a text, dude, next weekend to confirm that you're going to cancel this subscription. Cancel. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to charge you the 15 bucks, dude, after yeah. you just wanted to pay a fucking buck. <laughs> and I never played anything. <laughs> I know, dude. I got it. Shit, I got to finish Metro. Damn, I guess I'm not playing Final Fantasy. Then. No, I'm going to play Final Fantasy, and I'm going to try to beat it this week, dude. Watch. I'm going to watch you uh, get to the title screen, and you'll be like... <laughs> Yeah, like, shit. <laughs> shit, something came up. Damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. No, I think uh, that is it for us this week. I'm going to stall a little bit just to see if anything else pops in my head, dude. Um. Oh, dude. They changed the the voice acting in Evangelion, dude. Like the English voice acting. They changed it on Netflix. Why? I have no <laughs> idea. Copy so, for I, I don't know how I ago. feel. Yeah, it's funny because I didn't notice, and I wasn't really watching it in English. I think I watched a couple episodes in English, you know, while I was doing some chores around the house or while I was, like, cleaning my room, right? Mm-hmm. And I didn't really notice because it's been forever since I've seen the show. And then next thing you know, I uh, read this article that they changed the voice acting. So I went back to like kiss anime to watch what they had on there when it was originally uploaded holy shit yeah they changed it and it kind of sucks now dude <laughs> like Damn. the new the new voice <laughs> the new english voice acting is kind of trash <laughs> so who knows why they did it we'll have to we'll have to do some investigating dude and see we'll find that and find out maybe they didn't want to pay the voice actors again who knows man yeah yeah um but yeah i think that's all the thoughts that came to my head while i was stalling so we will see you guys next week stay cool out there until then rick and happy fourth of july um but until then rick some words of wisdom oh, if you think of global warming just think of your refrigerator <laughs> all right <guys. laughs>